things that the courts have done over the last 25 years is to radically de-emphasize the importance of that consideration and to elevate and replace it with the considerations that I described earlier, primarily the consideration about whether or not the use is transformative and uh, the question of whether the use is, is proportionate. Um, another way, of, a more practical way of looking at this is that if you look back at the, the record of fair use decision making in the courts over the last 25 years, almost every successful assertion of fair use has been on the part of a commercial entity, mm -hmm. a trade publisher, a movie studio, or even Richard Prince. So we, it, it is a concern, it is certainly part of the discourse, but I think that, that the, the structure of analysis now is really quite different from what it was formerly, and that that question, is it or isn't it commercial, is no longer the, the first question to be asked, no longer, in fact, all that important to the analysis overall.